Okay, we've certainly spent enough time prepping us for this point, so let's get on with it. For this little presentation, we're going to make global adjustments to the tonalities of this image. And to do that, we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. And that brings up this dialog box. Here's the histogram you all have seen before. This is showing the distribution of tones. And this is showing where our limits are. So I'm going to grab this white end. I'm going to set the white point at the limits of our data. You can see it brightens it up just a little. And I'm going to do the same thing with this black. If I want to know what I've done, I've got a preview down here. I can click this on and off. I can see the effect of what's um, happened. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to say OK. Now I want to see if I have any mid-range contrast I want to work with. So again, I'm going to go Image, Adjustments, Curves. And here is my Curves window. Now this defaults when you open up a uh, new Photoshop. This defaults to a fairly coarse grid. I want it to be a smaller grid, so I've held down the Alt key with the cursor in there and clicked, and I now get this 10-step grid. For those of you that are old-time photo shooters, you can think of these 10 steps almost as zones, to where right here in the middle is Zone 5. Now the way this is laid out, is important. This is an incredibly powerful editing tool, especially if you were doing black and whites, but it works the same in color. This y-axis along the bottom is indicating what is coming into this scene. This is the original scene, and this is the distribution of tones along this it's called a curve, but because it's digital, it's perfectly linear. In the old zone days, we were all trying to get all of our tones on the straight line portion of the curve. Here, digital did it for us, and it's not very pretty. So we may end up adjusting this a little. Over here is the output. This is going to represent the changes I'm making. So right now, for example, zone 5 on my input is zone 5 on the output. But if I wanted to raise that, if I wanted to make zone 5 into zone 6, if I grab the line here by clicking on it and pulling it up, can you see how it brightened all of those mid-tones? I don't want them quite that bright. I want maybe a half stop increase. Okay. Now, if I want my darks to be a little more shaded, then I can do to this what we used to do in the film curves, is I can bring the shadow down just a little. Maybe that's too much. There we go. And I can bring my highlights up just a little more. Now again, for those of you folks that started out in film, this should start to look familiar. This is like a very shallow characteristic curve in the film days. And it's doing exactly the same thing. It's letting these tones do something that they don't do in digital, which is roll off a little more smoothly. So this is an incredibly powerful tool. I could go in, for example, and simply change what would amount to, what am I looking at here, zone 1, 2, 3. I could simply bring zone 3 up if I wanted. I don't in this case, but if I did. Now, if I want to know where a zone in this image is, 
if I put my cursor over it and hold down the Alt key and click, can you see that little circle that appears on the line down around zone t between zone 2 and 3? I'll toggle it on and off so you can see it. That is where the tone that is under that eyedropper cursor is. So if I'm looking for a tone and I'm trying to decide I would like to make this a little bit darker, then I can come and do that. Like that. So again, this makes for some incredible power. There's before, there's after. Can you see how it started to pop? It is looking much more film-like as we're producing this thing. So now I have my global tonality set. I'm going to go, as I suggested we do, and do another save. That way I haven't lost them. And with that save, then I'm going to stop this section and we'll come back at this same place for the final part of this for this module, which will be doing global color corrections. So I'll see you then.